Now, what's going on with you today? Hope you're doing good. Thank you so much for joining me today. So today I wanna to have a little conversation about Megan Thee Stallion possibly getting sued after dropping her Hiss record. So I'm sure you know all about the Megan Thee Stallion and Nicki Minaj beef. It's very current and everybody's talking about it, right? So you know how Megan Thee Stallion had that Megan's Law line in her song? That was a diss connected to Nicki Minaj's husband, Kenneth Petty, who we all know baped a 16 year old girl when he was 16 and her brother as well who baped an 11 year old girl and he's serving a 25 year prison sentence for that as we speak. Now we know all that, but we never really spoke about the real meaning behind the Megan's Law line. Like where does this law actually come from and what's the real story behind it? So there's a victim, a seven year old girl who's behind the reasoning for why this law was reenacted. We'll talk about that in a second. The family of the victim decided to blast Megan Thee Stallion and they're now actually considering taking legal action against her after she dropped this diss. So just a little backstory behind Megan's Law. Okay, so there's a victim that's related to this Megan Law line because the law was created in response to a 1994 murder of a Megan Nicole Kanka in New Jersey. On July 29, 1994, seven-year-old Megan Kanka was raped and murdered by Jesse Timendiquas, a neighbor who lived across from the family's home in Hamilton Township, New Jersey. Jesse was a registered sex offender when he moved across the street from Megan and her family. And her family was unaware that their neighbor was a threat to their daughter's safety. Now one day, Jesse Timendiquas decided to lure Megan into his house by offering her to show her a puppy. Megan Kanka was then baped and strangled to death by Timendiquas. And he moved Megan's body to his truck, placing her lifeless seven-year-old body in a wooden toy chest. And he then dumped it in a nearby park. The next day, Jesse Timendiquas confessed this to the investigators and he led the police to the site. The court initially sentenced Timendiquas to death and he remained on New Jersey's death row until December 17, 2007. That's when the New Jersey legislator abolished the state's death penalty and this resulted in Timendiquas' sentence being commuted to life in prison without the possibility of parole instead of the death penalty. In the wake of this horrible tragedy, the Kanka family sought to have local communities warned about sex offenders in the area. And now, fast forward to 2024, all states in America now have some form of Megan's Law. So this is the story behind the Megan's Law, okay? The line that Megan spit on her record, Hiss. There's a story behind it, which of course, unfortunately, involves a seven-year-old girl getting strangled and baped by a monster. Now, the silver lining here, right, is that this law being put in place now protects children, which is good, right? So now let's talk about Megan Kanka's family because, you know, they heard Megan's diss and they're now going on a record and they're calling this this record by Megan Thee Stallion his disrespectful and offensive. Richard Kanka, the father of the late Megan Kanka, he told TMZ that Megan dragging his late daughter's name into this beef aimed at Nikki is as disrespectful as it gets from his point of view. And he also said that Megan Thee Stallion shedding light on this law doesn't change his sour feelings about her including the Megan's Law line in her record. He also stated that using his daughter's name in such a graphic offensive manner was highly offensive to the pain his daughter and family felt. And then he also said that while he hasn't heard the track with his own two ears, what? Wait, he hasn't even heard the song? Okay. He's however read the lyrics and you know, it's still a no go for him. I mean, he hasn't even heard the song though. Like that's crazy. Now Richard Kanka told TMZ that the song left such a bad taste in his mouth that he's now actually considering into taking legal actions so that's the story. Megan Thee Stallion rapped Megan's Law in this song, which is a law that was reenacted back in the 90s. And the story behind it is, you know, the seven year old girl, she was strangled and baped by another monster. And then this law was put in place, which allows the public to be provided with certain information on the whereabouts of sex offenders so that the members of any local community in the United States may be able to protect themselves and their children. And now the family, they heard this this record by Meg and then they don't like what they're hearing because they find it offensive and disrespectful. Now here's the thing, right? I don't like telling people how to feel about anything, let alone a situation that involves a loved one like a little child that was taken away from this earth in this manner. But I do wanna say, first of all, his daughter was not in the focus of 
this entire thing, right? Now, of course, it is a rap beef, so, you know, beefs don't, they don't, they're not pretty, okay? They're ugly. But Megan Thee Stallion actually managed to bring a lot of attention to this law, which I think it's a, it's a good thing. Because when it comes down to it, what really is this law about? Well, it's about protecting the kids. And Meg brought attention to it without saying anything about Megan Kanka or saying anything about the kids. I mean, why would she do that? She's not a sicko like this guy who killed Megan Kanka, right? So the fact that she brought so much attention to this law, because I had no clue of this particular law. Now, of course, I knew about the concept of, you know, hey, if I got any sex offenders in my area, I'm going to be able to find out. Like most of us know about the concept, but this particular law, I think it's very important to know about it because it offers some context as to why this is important in the first place so i feel like meg did a good thing here now i don't think she was intending to do any good because you know she's beefing with Nicki minaj so from her perspective she's like and i'm just saying it's just so you know i can get back at this this girl right here but she did a good thing unintentionally i mean the fact that the father didn't listen to the song to me it's like kind of kind of weird because like if you're thinking about taking legal action why would you not listen to the actual song actually i know why he said you know to tmz he said that rap music isn't his cup of tea so that's why he didn't listen and the only way he found out about it was when one of his kids told him about it so that explains that so from his perspective the only thing he thinks about when he hears about mega's law it's his daughter and that's understandable so i'm not gonna tell the man how to feel about this but still i mean it's a law and it's public information why can't she bring it up? So I do not think this lawsuit is going to hold up in court at all. She didn't really disrespect anyone because there's no defamatory statements made in this song. So I don't know what the father's thinking, but then again, I don't think he's truly thinking. I believe he's looking at this from a very emotional lens. And again, I don't blame him because, hey, his daughter was brutally murdered and baped. So in his mind, he's hearing two rappers beefing and then he hears Megan's Law and then he interjects it in this beef and he's kind of seeing red, obviously. We get it, we get it. But then again, we also don't get it because it doesn't make any sense. All I'm saying is I think he should be happy that she brought attention to it. And now there's so many people who know about why this law was actually reenacted. I look at that and I say, that's a pretty positive outcome. Anyway, there you have the video. If you made it this far, could you do me a favor and like the video for the algorithm, okay? Anyway, what you guys think about this topic though? The family of Megan Kanka, the seven-year-old girl who lost her life to the actions of a monster in 1994. They feel like Megan Thee Stallion, including Megan's Law in her, his record is disrespectful what you think about that do you agree with the family do you agree with megan Thee stallion or are you kind of in the middle curious to hear what you have to say so you let me know and i'll see you in the comment section below but most importantly of all i'll catch you on the next one okay have a good day or night wherever you're at peace i'm out this bitch